Okay, today we are going to continue with our history taking on which we are going to proceed with antenatal history which is taken after past medical history. The antenatal history means health of the mother during pregnancy and it involves the following important things. First is the date of first visit at antenatal clinic, the age of pregnancy at first visit at antenatal clinic, the frequency of attendance. The second is illness during pregnancy and any complication. The third is any tests during pregnancy, which may be hemoglobin level, blood group with this resus factor, the blood pressure, the body mass index, the PITC, VDRIL, the BS tests, urinalysis, urine protein, and also stool analysis. And if it was taken, and if repeated. And also, the fourth is medication taken during pregnancy, which involves the type, the route, duration, and compliance. These are such as sulfodoxane, pyrimethamine for malaria, antihemimpic treatment such as mebendazole, iron, folate, and tetanus toxoid. Also, we should look for any radiation exposure. Okay, we continue with natal history, which means all events during childbirth and delivery. The important components are duration of pregnancy, on which can be preterm, term, or postterm. The duration of labor, and also the time from the rupture of membrane, and also the color of the liquor, and also the smell. The third is the type of birth, whether it was SVD or cesarean section, and if so, why? The fourth is birth weight, which can be normal, low, very low, or extremely low. But we should also consider the pediatrics from six months, on which at six months, the body weight should be twice the birth weight, and at one year, it should be three times the birth weight, and at two years, the body weight should be four times the birth weight. The fifth is state of neonet at birth, if any problems during newborn period, like jaundice, difficulty in breathing, or feeding difficulties. We continue with the resuscitation if was taken and for how long, and if he or she was taken in ICU. The other, we should consider the onset of first cry, if she cried or he cried immediately, or delayed in crying. And also, the place of delivery. Then we continue with neonatal history, which means all events up to one month after delivery, which involves the important components such as serious illness after birth, or any congenital malformation or complications such as jaundice conversions, difficulty in sucking, or feeding difficulties, or even weight loss. The second is if the child passed meconium and also if urinated, and normally occurs before 24 hours after birth. The third is when the cord stamp dropped, and uh, it is normally before four days. And on illness, we should rule out the torches. Okay, we continue with immunization history, which we report it as according to National Immunization and Vaccines Development Schedule. This was introduced in 2014, whereby the booster measles dose was added at 18th month. So we start at giving the child the vaccine at day zero, on which we give all of polio vaccine, which is given as per all drops. We also give BCG, which is given at the right shoulder, subcutaneous, and uh, if not given at birth, we give it as soon as the baby presents to the hospital. 
The second is given on the sixth week, on which involves oral polio vaccine, which is given power, and also pentavalent vaccine, which is given on the left thigh, which is intramuscular, which consists of diphtheria, DPT, diphtheria, pertussis, and tetanus, hemophilus, influenza, uh, B, and also hepatitis B. The other vaccines given at six weeks are PCV, which is given at the right thigh, intramuscular, and also rota rix, which is given per oral drops. At tenth week, we give oral polio vaccine, which is given as per oral drops, pentavalic vaccine, as I said before, given at left thigh, intramuscular, and also PCV, given the right thigh, intramuscular, and also rotor rigs, which is given per oral. At 14th week, we give oral polio vaccine, given as per oral, pentavalic vaccine, given on the right, sorry, left thigh, intramuscular, and also PCV, which is given on the right thigh, intramuscular. On nine months, measles vaccine is given on the left shoulder, intramuscular, and also vitamin A is given at the nine month, then every six months for five years. On 19th month, it contains measles booster, which also contains rubella, which is given at the left shoulder, intramuscular, and also we continue with vitamin A every six months and albendazole every six months. Thank you. We will continue with dietary history and development milestone in the next session. Please continue watching Medifab.